Earl Gallant Township Chevrolet. I'm the shop foreman here. And we're just gonna go over uh, differentials and transfer cases today. Both kind of do the same kind of function or have the same uh, type of function, but they kind of do two different things in the vehicle. So we'll kind of run through those. So the differential uh, is this part here. We're underneath the three quarter ton truck. Um, what it's gonna do is the drive shaft comes from the engine and the differential's job is to take that rotation that's, go that's traveling down the car and run it both ways out to the wheels. So that's one function. The next is to uh, increase torque or RPM or speed of the uh, vehicle. Take that rotation that's spinning at a certain RPM and, and multiply it out to the wheels. And that's done through the gear set that's inside of here. Um, the next function is to, when you're taking corners and you're, you're, you're turning, uh, one wheel needs to spin slower than the other. The outside wheel needs to spin faster to keep up. So that's the some of the parts inside of there do that. The transfer case, uh, normally found in all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive cars, that also does the same thing. There's also usually a low and a high feature on that. That's also going to multiply torque uh, and raise the RPM of the engine to get out of you know, situations where you may be stuck or may need to climb up a hill or, or something like that. Uh, and also, it's to take the same rotation that's traveling back to this back differential, turn it around and head it towards the front for the front wheels. So they kind of do, do the same function the same way. Um, because of, there's fluid in this differential and because of the jobs that it has, there's different parts in there. There's obviously metal on metal gears and contact there, which causes pressure. You've got a lot of, when this thing's traveling on the highway, you've got a lot of uh, a fluid shear or fluid moving around inside this, this small pot here. And there's not very much fluid typically in one of these, anywhere from a liter to four liters roughly. Um, so that generates heat. There's no cooler on this uh, unit, so it just dissipates the heat through the metal parts. So the heat generating uh, after a while will break down the viscosity of the fluid. And you've also got temperature, uh, which is a big thing around here with the influx of high and low on the temperature, uh, can cause condensation. Or if you're someone who is driving in uh, some real extreme conditions like in heavy water or something, you can also have, uh, there is a vent on these as well to vent that pressure that builds and it can also get water and moisture in there as well. So uh, because of those reasons, these need to be uh, changed. Now different driving styles and depending on how you drive your vehicle, you know, will kind of determine whether or not you need it done. But uh, the recommendation normally is around the 30, 40, 50,000 kilometer mark, depending on how you're driving and what you're doing. Uh, transfer cases, um, it's typically the same kind of thing. The old transfer cases used to be uh, strictly gear on gear, which would obviously cause, uh, would cause heat. Uh, and the, the fluid would break down in viscosity and you could obviously have condensation in there as well. Um, the big difference with the newer transfer cases is there's, there's a lot of clutches in there now, uh, especially when you're dealing with the auto four-wheel drive that will apply or engage that transfer case and supply power to the front wheels uh, a little more evenly so it's not so abrupt, it's not so hard. Um, so for that reason there, those need to be, the fluid needs to be changed in those as well because those clutch material obviously, there's, with the clutches rubbing, there's gonna be some material that comes off after a while, causes the fluid to get dirty. Another thing to keep in mind too with the front differential on an all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive is the same setup as this truck here is in the back for the most part. Um, older trucks used to have uh, locking uh, wheel, wheel hubs. So when you were driving on the road with that, that style of vehicle, um, the gears in here were normally stationary. If you weren't in four-wheel drive and you had your uh, wheels unlocked, uh, your, your differential wasn't turning. Now, most vehicles today, that differential is turning whether you're in four-wheel drive or not. So you may think, oh, well, my front differential, I don't use it very often, not in four-wheel drive very much, but that's turning the whole, every time the vehicle's moving down the road, it's turning as well. So there is fluid shear um, in there, which is gonna cause heat, which is gonna break down the fluid after time. So something else to think about. Um, other than that, uh, it's a pretty quick thing to check. You can see on this particular vehicle here, there's this plug, there's one in the front and the rear. Our technicians here will pull that out and basically uh, dip their finger in or a screwdriver or something and pull out a small sample, uh, which they can show you if you uh, if you need us to show you guys what it looks like. Same thing on the transfer case. It's just a, it's a quick sample of the fluid. Um, yeah, other than that, uh, for this to function properly, clean fluid is very important. Those clutches that allow this thing to uh, turn corners and allow the wheels to spin at different uh, different speeds. Those can get clogged up, they can get dirty. There's, there's little fingers and cogs in there that, that lock that. So you want those things to move freely and, and you want them to be working, working good. So 
Next time you're in for a service, if you're driving a four-wheel drive uh, vehicle or an all-wheel drive, um, or even a two-wheel drive truck, we're still going to have this back here. Uh, get the guys to uh, check the diff fluid for you. We, we normally do it anyway, but just mention it if you want a sample of that, especially if you get over the 40,000 kilometer mark and you've never done it. Uh, if you're dealing with a front-wheel drive vehicle, there uh, will be a differential there as well. It's built into the transmission, so they call that unit a transaxle. That's where everything's built in. Uh, some vehicles, or, or most vehicles, I should say, I guess, share the transmission fluid, does the transmission functions along with the differential. There are some vehicles out there that have a separate fluid for that differential, uh, which can also be checked in the same manner as this as well. So, um, yeah, so that's a quick rundown on uh, transfer cases and, and differentials. Any questions or comments, just drop them down below. And uh, like I say, any, uh, any ideas on what you guys want me to talk about uh, in the next episode, Drop those in the comments and uh, we look forward to seeing you guys. Thank you.